It's time for the KBOI Medical Moment, brought to you by Regents Blue Shield of Idaho, featuring Dr. Kenny Bramwell, the Executive Medical Director for Regents. Dr. Bramwell, good morning. Good morning. Doctor, after what seemed like a bit of a cool start to spring, the Treasure Valley certainly is warming up nicely this weekend. And uh, conveniently enough, you have a recommendation for us that's always important, but especially so when the weather turns toasty. What is that? Drink more water. The simple fact is most of us don't drink enough water to stay properly hydrated. Whether you're a weekend warrior, uh, a mountain biker, or just walking along the green belt, staying hydrated really matters. As the American Heart Association reminds us, keeping the body hydrated helps the heart more easily pump our blood through the blood vessels to the muscles, and it helps our muscles work more efficiently. Dr. Bramwell, how much water should we be drinking? Well, the amount of water a person needs depends on weather conditions like temperature, humidity, and wind, as well as the clothing that we wear, and finally, the exercise intensity and duration we have. A popular rule of thumb is to divide your body weight in half and try to consume that amount in water in ounces each day. In other words, a 160-pound person should try for about 80 ounces of water or 10 8-ounce glasses of water a day. Wow, that seems like a lot of water. Are there other options to water? Yeah, it does, it does sound like a bit of water, but there are some other sources for water we can use as well. Fruit juices and sodas can be loaded with sugars and can actually be hard on our stomachs if we're dehydrated already. Caffeinated drinks, uh, ironically, act, cause us to lose more fluid so they don't do us many favors when we're trying to stay hydrated in the warm weather. Finally, it's good to supplement what we drink with water-rich fruits and vegetables like grape, watermelons, tomatoes, and lettuce. Doctor, as long as we're talking about what we should be drinking and eating, you have another bit of snacking advice for us this morning? Yes, and it's based on research from Penn State University. In a study of 30 to 65-year-old subjects, scientists found that replacing a modest percentage of saturated fat calories with walnuts correlated with lower blood pressure. So what's a specific advice coming from this study? Well, the lead author summed it up really nicely. She suggested that instead of reaching for full-fat dairy products or snacks, that we consider having some skim milk and walnuts. Finally, Doctor, uh, this morning there's a large group among us that might want to consider making some dietary and other changes now to head off health problems that could come later. And who is that? Yes, somewhat surprisingly, it's the Millennial, a newly released Health of America report from the National Blue Cross Blue Shield Association found that Millennials, those who are born but years of 1981 and 1996, had substantially higher diagnoses for eight of the top ten health conditions than their generation counterparts at the same age. Based on their current health status, millennials are also more likely to be less healthy later in life compared to their Gen X counterparts. Interesting. Any speculation on why millennials seem to be less healthy than the generation before them? Well, that, it's still being investigated and debated. However, the thinking is that it's at least partially attributable to debt a constant connection to technology and other societal pressures. And even millennials' reduced tendency to have a primary care doctor to ensure ensure timely preventive care. Dr. Bramwell, we thank you for your time this morning on KBOI.